All right, let's get into a collective you versus them. Keep an open mind. Let's see what's coming in for you. Let's get an overall energy for you and this person. This could be a new person, a past person, a no contact. Keep an open mind. We're going to see where this goes. Okay, the feelings I have for you are strong and overwhelming. So someone could be feeling overwhelmed with how they're, they, they feel for you. Could be so intense that it's overwhelming. Have any of you ever felt that way where someone can just have such a hold on you that it could just mess with you? It can either make or break your whole day. That's what I'm getting with this person. You could be the kind of person where you can make or break their whole day. All right, let's see. How are you feeling? Remember guys, these are my Oracle cards. If you wanna check them out, first comment, comment in the, the comment section. My oh, goodness. Our love is unconditional. I knew it from the start. Oh my God, this is an amazing energy. This is such a good one. So their energy is the moment I met you, I knew that you were the person I had been praying for. Your energy is our love is unconditional. I knew it from the start. And the overall energy is the feelings we have are strong and overwhelming. You can see maybe how you guys feel for one another just by looking in each other's eyes. It could be that intense. Have you guys ever seen the movie, Anyone But You? So, I watched that movie not too long ago. In that movie, when I tell you, I was getting so mad in that movie. Because you can look at these two and tell by the way that they looked at one another that there was something there. The passion, the chemistry, the intensity was just off the charts. That's what I'm getting with you two. I feel like you and this person, there's just, you can deny it all you fucking want, but your eyes can't. Because it's strong. Okay, how are you viewing this relationship? You view this as something that you want to get engulfed in. You view this as something that doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. That's how you view this. You're in the energy of sometimes the things that are right for you don't make sense, Danielle. There is no practical. There is no logical. There's just, there's just me and this person. And I want to be consumed. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, how is this person viewing this relationship? How are they viewing this relationship? They could view it as something that they're ready to move very quickly. For some of you, this person could want to marry you within eight days, eight weeks, eight months. This person's going to want things to move very, very, very quickly. For some of you, if this is someone you're dating, they could be coming in here, coming up, and discussing, not only are you the person that they prayed for, but they're going to want to discuss the movement forward. This could be going to buy a new car. This could be going to get a home. This could be dreams, goals, wishes. Maybe you guys have always wanted to travel. They might look at you in a few days and go, let's start traveling. Let's do it. What credit cards are we going to get? How are we going to get these points so we can maybe get some money off? What are we going to do to fulfill what we say we want to do? I'm tired of talking about it. Let's do it. I prayed for you for a reason. I prayed for your mind, the way that you you work, the way that you show up. There's a reason I prayed for someone who would travel with me. There is a reason I prayed for you. And let's, let's do it. I see a lot of communication about how this person feels for you. Oh my God, look at this. Soulmate, twin flame, wanting to give it all. There could be something here when it comes to effort and dedication that needs to maybe be changed. So this person could feel like maybe the way this relationship's been going, there needs to be a pivot. So this could be something as simple as um, maybe something in the household needs to be changed. This could be what effort and dedication looks like. For some of you, you've been dating this person for maybe eight months and there's something that they want to try differently. There is a sense of stripping of this relationship. So when it comes to effort and dedication, they want this to look a little different. And they're going to bring that up in communication here coming up. They, this could be someone as simple as we've been dating for eight months. Your partner might say, hey, what do you think about you not working anymore? What do you think about working for eight more months and us quitting our jobs for eight weeks and just traveling. What do you think about, and then it's going to have everything to do with maybe something completely shifting, you guys doing something differently. This could be something as simple as 
hey, you know how we don't want kids or anything? That's great. That's awesome. That's perfect. What do you think about us working our asses off the next eight years and us retiring early? You working two jobs, me working two jobs. Let's have no children. Hell, let's not even really travel. Let's just really grind the next eight years. Because I feel like if anyone can do this with me, it's you. I've never met someone who had such the same mindset and the same goals as me. And I think we can do it. When it comes to effort and dedication, I'm sharing this plan with you because I feel like if I can trust anyone with this plan, it's you. And then not only are you gonna understand it, but you're gonna wanna put it in motion. That's how this person feels about you, okay? They feel like you're gonna wanna put this, this plan in motion. So they view you as someone, I would say if you ask this person, they would say, that's the love of my life. That's what they would say. Yeah, something growing. And a cycle being completed. See, that's what I'm saying. Something's growing under the surface. Getting wishes fulfilled. Recognizing that you're getting everything that you want. Again, a conversation. A conversation coming out of nowhere. So, you have a tower on your side and they have a tower on their side. The tower on your side has to do with growth with something growing under the surface. So with the womb, it reminds me of a baby. You don't know what the baby looks like until it comes out of the womb. You don't know how tall it is, what it weighs. They can tell you it's a boy, it might be a girl. You don't know any of those details until it fully is birthed into this world. There is something here between you and this person that's being birthed, okay? It's an idea. It's a way that you guys want to dedicate yourself to a life. This could be something as simple as we've been dedicated city folk for five, ten years. But now that maybe we're not career driven like we used to be. Now that our family's passed. Now that we're having children. Now that has happened. We have decided that maybe the things that mean the most to us is not what it has been. That maybe our effort and our dedication is going to look different than what it used to be. That's what I'm seeing here. So I see you feeling even more fulfilled when this finally comes in. You're going to be like, hell yeah. I've been waiting for you to say, hey, let's go buy that farm. I've been waiting for you to say, I think we should work our butts off for eight years and retire early. I think we should work our butt off the next eight months and travel for eight weeks. Are you game? I've been waiting for you to say that. I've literally been thinking about it. Actually, I actually have some details here. And I see a sense of like, hell yes, let's do it. Now, I see you giving this person a lot of clarity about how you are so excited and how this is everything that you've wanted, that this has been a wish fulfillment for you. So again, this is something as simple as, you know, maybe this person's never spoke out loud that they wanted to travel like that. Maybe they've never told anyone they've ever dated that they wanted to live on a farm travel for eight weeks out of a year. Hell, maybe travel for eight months out of a year. Because they felt that nobody else would maybe understand it or no one had the like-minded want to do it. Nobody else felt fulfilled when they talked about it the way that they would have. Because I feel like you're either a traveler or you're not. You're either a farm person or you ain't. you either a kid person or you ain't. That's how I feel. Tell me down below if you agree. But it's like this person feels that you are going to be so excited to hear about it. And as soon as they say, hey, I had an idea. You know, I was driving past this house today, and they have a farmhouse down the road for sale, and I think this is our opportunity. It's like you're going to jump off the couch and go, shut up. Are you serious? Nuh-uh. Have I ever told you I always dreamed about this? Shut up. Please don't play with me. Please don't play jokes. Please don't play jokes. No, 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 Do not tell me that we get to travel for eight months and you play with me. Don't tell me I get to quit my job in eight months and get to travel for eight weeks. Don't be playing with me. And it's like you're going to be so excited I, I just, can't, I can't even put into words. I can't even put into words. I'm wanting to tell you how I feel, but I cannot find the words at the moment. I'm feeling consumed for this desire. I'm hoping you're going to say yes. See again. So there's desire here. Desire to share a plan with you. Desire to bring you on board with something. And they're just hoping that you're going to say Yes. Please say yes. Please say yes.
So I am saying that whatever this is, you guys might end up having some sort of challenge in your near future, okay? So let's say that you guys decide, okay, we want to travel for eight weeks. You might notice here in your upcoming future, your partner's going to be game, but you guys are going to have challenges you're going to have to overcome. This could be money problems. This could be having to pay for something on your car that you didn't want to have to pay for. This could be you guys being dedicated to that goal, to that dream, to that wish, but your everyday lifestyle might not show that. Example, okay, we're going to go buy a house. I want the farmhouse, they want the farmhouse, but are we treating our budget every day like we want a farmhouse or are we still going to Target? Are we still getting that Starbucks? Are we still spending that $30 a day on cigarettes? They are saying that in order for you to get to the goal that you're wanting, you might struggle with what you're going to have to do to get you there and that there could even be a sense of needing to recognize that you guys could have the tendency to maybe be very confused or very hot and cold. And I think all of us are like that. It's like one day you don't give a crap if you have the money for your vacation. You want that Starbucks. The next day you might be a little more lenient on, no, I need to save. I need to drink coffee at home. All of us do that. But I am saying that you, them, your partner, or both of you might end up getting this very kind of mixed signals, confusing, well, I thought you wanted to travel. You're not acting like you want to travel. Why are you buying stuff we don't need? And if you guys do not continue to maintain the goal and working together to that goal, you might end up noticing that there are going to be issues that are going to come up where you guys are going to have to maybe get through a problem. It might take a little bit longer than what you wanted to get you there. And you might even feel like someone is taking action or doing things that aren't making sense. So again, okay, you say we're going to travel for eight weeks. Why the hell are we getting things in the house that we ain't run, we ain't going to need for eight weeks? We don't need that new TV. Why don't you wait till we get back? They might be like, but we do need it. We need it right now. You might be more along the lines of, yeah, you say we need it, but how are we going to get to our goal if we keep spending money like this? So that could be a problem you guys are going to end up having to maybe conquer. And they could maybe have a hard time. Yeah, they could end up getting angry as well angry that you're kind of questioning them. There could even be resentment that's going to build, so be careful with that as well. Because I see an overwhelming, we want this. But, you know, it's easy to say you want something, and then the next day, life's hard. You're tired. Maybe it's not been a good day. Maybe you've been up all night. Maybe it's just a crappy day and you need a little pick-me-up. That's what I'm saying here. They're saying to take this really slow, so, whatever this is, again, let's say that this is something as simple as, I'm in love with you, you're in love with me. Let's figure this out. You guys figuring it out or getting to the end goal might not get there as quickly as you want. You guys might really have to take it slow. You guys might really have to understand what the problems have been and how you cannot get to those problems again or how you're going to conquer them if you do. Whatever this is, they're saying to take the goal slow. So if you put yourself in a predicament of, I'm going to retire in eight years, you might find it's going to be more along 11 years. It might be slower than what you wanted. There might be maybe health scares, job problems. There could be people that you're dealing with that are unavailable or jobs that can't give you what you need. So then you have to leave and go find something different. There will be delays and roadblocks. But how you deal with those delays and roadblocks are going to speak volumes on where you're going and what you actually want, okay? Now, if this is a person, I see that you guys are going to continue to um, evolve this. So, you could end up getting married. You guys could end up, I see you guys living together or building something together. But again, I do see that there will be ups and downs. So, it's like, this is going to be a ha-ha. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I've always wanted this farm with you and I. But then the next day, they might come home with a boat. And you might be like, okay, I thought we were getting a farmhouse. Why, why you got a boat? That might be a problem you guys have to go through. Things like that might end up happening, okay? But I am seeing overall that there is a overwhelming energy of, I'm dedicated to you, you're dedicated to me. I'm dedicated to this, you're dedicated to this. 
we will get through this, even when we are confusing, even when we are sending mixed signals and I tell you, hey, save money, but I come home with the Mountain Dew. That's what I'm saying. And again, you might even feel like this person doesn't make sense sometimes. It's like, I don't get it. I'm really confused. This person, though, could be in a place where they're kind of wanting to make you happy. And that could be another thing that's going to be an issue if you do have a partner that wants to make you happy. They want to have a happy husband. They want to have a happy wife. But again, when they're out and about in town and they see that, that drink place that they love so much, that smoothie shop, their favorite place to eat, they might be quick to stop and spend that money because in that moment, they're not thinking about making you happy. They didn't think about the plan from eight years from now. But that then might start issues in your relationship that's going to, again, bring obstacles in that you guys are going to have to overcome. But I see that it's going to happen, and I see that you guys are going to get to the end goal, that it just might take a little bit longer than what you want, to be honest with you, okay? Someone here could also have to switch jobs or get rid of something to get you there as well. Someone here might need to get a higher paying job or someone here is going to have to, this could be someone helping family and you guys not realizing that that 20 bucks given to brother, sister, mom, dad, every other day is adding up. Someone here could have to maybe retract themselves out of something so they can go to something new and get more or so that they can save that money. Again, this could be giving your children a bunch of money. If they're 16, I don't mean to be mean. It's time for a job. It's time for a job. It's time for some responsibility. A job once, twice, three times a week ain't gonna kill you, okay? And they're gonna love the responsibility of being able to bring in their own money and spend it on what they want. But it, let's say that this is a kid. You guys might be in a place where you're wanting to take care of the kid, but you might not be recognizing that that 20, 25 bucks every other day is adding up real quick. And if that baby went and got a job, even if it's a part-time job, one, two days a week, that would, all, that would add to their confidence of, oh my God, I can do this. I've got this. I'm feeling really confident. This is amazing. And it would also add money into your pocket to get you to where you want to go. So I am seeing that as well. Now that might be more on that person's side. So they could be helping a family member or they could be dedicated to maybe a job or career or something like that where they could get paid more elsewhere, but they just don't want to leave the team or hurt their feelings. Are their feelings going to pay your bills? Are their feelings going to help you retire early? I mean, you can say, hey, listen, I don't want to leave, but financially I can't keep working here because this doesn't make sense. And if they take it the wrong way, that's on them. All right, I'm gonna leave that here. Hope that helps. Have a blessed day.